In today's video, we're going to talk about the 10 most fascinating CIA missions and all the interesting details about them. Without any further delay, let's get started. Why did the CIA reveal its top secret missions? The Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, founded on September 18, 1947, engages in intricate intelligence operations, utilizing advanced analyses and strategic initiatives to safeguard national security. Celebrating its 75th birthday on September 18, 2022, along with the 75th anniversary of successful actions, operations, and diverse missions, the CIA decided to declassify 10 of its most fascinating missions and share them with the world. Cat Airlines, Air America, in 1950. Back in 1950, the CIA quietly bought up Civil Air Transport, CAT, an airline kick-started in China after World War II by General Claire L. Cheneau and Whiting Willauer. CAT continued its regular flights all over Asia, pretending to be just another private commercial airline. Behind the scenes, though, operating as CAT Incorporated, it supplied planes and crews for hush-hush intelligence missions. By 1959, CAT changed its name to Air America, but stuck to its routine commercial routes, while still helping out with secret intelligence operations. The Air America saga came to a close on June 30, 1976, when it was dissolved. The U-2 spy plane in 1954 In 1954, President Eisenhower greenlit the development of the U-2 aircraft, marking a significant milestone. The inaugural U-2 mission soared over Eastern Europe on June 20, 1956, followed by the first flight over the Soviet Union on July 4 of the same year. Fast forward to May 1, 1960, when a U-2 piloted by Francis Gary Powers was downed by the Soviets over Sverdlovsk. Powers survived, but Soviet authorities took him into custody, setting the stage for the notable Glenick Bridge prisoner swap in 1972, later depicted in the Hollywood hit Bridge of Spies. However, the U-2's pivotal moment unfolded on October 14, 1962. During CIA overflights of Cuba, U-2 pilots with their lenses focused captured evidence of Soviet nuclear missiles capable of reaching the U.S. This revelation triggered the Cuban Missile Crisis, an intense episode lasting from October 15 to 28, 1962. The Berlin Tunnel in 1955 In 1955, the brainchild of CIA officer Bill Harvey, the Berlin Tunnel Operation Gold became a crucial venture, enabling the CIA and British intelligence MI6 to tap into Soviet cable lines in East Berlin. The tunnel was completed on May 11, 1954. Unbeknown to the CIA and MI6 at the time, the KGB, the Soviet Union's premier intelligence agency, had been cognizant of the Berlin Tunnel project from its inception, though unaware of its exact location. George Blake, a KGB mole embedded within MI6, had divulged information about the covert operation during its planning stages. To shield Blake, the KGB allowed the operation to persist until April 1956, when they accidentally discovered the tunnel while ostensibly fixing underground cables. Nonetheless, the Berlin Tunnel operation is considered a huge triumph thanks to the information gathered on Soviet military capabilities and intentions. Operation Corona in 1957 In 1957, the CIA and the US Air Force initiated the development of the first imaging reconnaissance satellite dubbed Corona on December the 4th. Publicly recognized as the US Air Force's Discoverer program, the covert Corona endeavor functioned during the peak of the Cold War tasked with capturing images in restricted areas of Eastern Europe and Asia. Throughout its active years, Corona amassed a remarkable catalogue, acquiring over 800,000 images in response to the prevailing national security imperatives of that era. Highly Secret Operation A-12 Oxcart In 1962, the CIA developed a top-secret, super-fast plane called the A-12 Oxcart intended to follow in the footsteps of the U-2 spy plane. This advanced aircraft aimed to be a speedy, high-flying reconnaissance plane, 
capable of outsmarting Soviet air defenses. Lockheed, the company that built the U-2, secured the contract for Oxcart in 1959, meeting the A-12's requirements for extreme speed and altitude was a challenging task. But Lockheed, led by renowned engineer Clarence Kelly Johnson, successfully addressed the many technical problems. They implemented innovative ideas for components such as titanium parts, lubricants, jet engines, fuel, navigation, flight control, electronic countermeasures, radar, stealth and pilot life support systems. The A-12 Oxcart conducted its first official test flight on April 30, 1962, in the Nevada desert at a secret airbase known as Groom Lake, or as most people know it, Area 51. By 1965, after many hours of flying with courageous CIA and Lockheed test pilots, the A-12 was declared fully operational, meeting its design goals with a top speed of Mach 3.2 at an altitude of 90,000 feet. The project Cold Feet in 1962. In 1962, Project Cold Feet executed a maneuver that later iconic characters like James Bond, Batman, Agent Sidney Bristow, and John Wayne would later replicate on the big screen, using the Fulton Skyhawk system in moments of daring spectacle. Yet, the CIA did its first project in Cold Feet, in 1961, the U.S. stumbled upon an abandoned Soviet research station on a drifting ice island in the Arctic. The Soviets had abandoned it due to the breaking ice, making transportation impossible, or so they believed. On May 28, 1962, the CIA conducted a covert mission, flying two Navy pilots to the Arctic, who parachuted down onto the ice. The challenge, however, was figuring out how to retrieve them and the intelligence they gathered. The ingenious solution involved a B-17 equipped with Robert Fulton's Skyhook, an extraordinary airborne pickup device featuring a nose yoke and a specialized winch system. Come June 2nd, the CIA successfully executed the pickup using the Skyhook, snatching up the pilots along with a treasure trove of intelligence over 150 pounds of paperwork, samples, and equipment left behind by the Soviets. Glomar Azorian in 1974. In 1974, the CIA embarked on an audacious mission, comparable to lowering an eight-foot-wide grappling hook from the Empire State Building on a one-inch diameter steel rope. The objective was to discreetly retrieve a sunken Soviet submarine from the depths of the Pacific Ocean an operation known as Project Azorian. Crafting the cover story that billionaire Howard Hughes was engaged in deep-sea research and mining manganese nodules on the ocean floor, the CIA commissioned a ship named after the Glomar Explorer for this clandestine task. Despite efforts to keep the mission under wraps, news reports on March 18, 1975, uncovered the Glomar Explorer and its covert endeavor. Nevertheless, the operation is widely regarded as one of the most significant intelligence triumphs of the Cold War. Argo Operation in 1980 In 1980, a critical situation unfolded when, on November 4, 1979, militant Islamic students seized the U.S. Embassy in Tehran, Iran, holding 66 U.S. personnel hostage. Six U.S. State Department employees managed to escape capture that day finding refuge in the homes of Canadian embassy officers. Facing a national crisis, the US government, with Canadian assistance, devised various operations to tackle the issue. One noteworthy plan involved a small team of CIA experts in disguise and false documentation. The primary goal was to extract the Canadian Six, as they came to be known, by posing as a film production crew scouting for a filming location in Tehran. To aid the rescue, the CIA team established Studio 6 Productions and named their fictitious film Argo. On January 28, 1980, the CIA successfully carried out the exfiltration of the six U.S. diplomats from Iran. Jawbreaker Mission from 2001 In 2001, following the tragic events of September 11th, President George W. Bush directed CIA Director George Tenet 
to initiate operations against the Al-Qaeda terrorist organization and its Taliban backers in Afghanistan. The mission was clear but challenging, involving gathering real-time, actionable intelligence to shape the battlefield and utilizing all available means to target Al-Qaeda. Just 15 days after the attacks on US soil, on September 26, 2001, the first team of American CIA officers of Operation Jawbreaker were on the ground and actively engaged in operations in Afghanistan. A Botabad mission in 2011. In 2011, a significant event unfolded on May the 1st, as a US military raid targeted an Al-Qaeda compound in Abbottabad, Pakistan, resulting in the demise of Osama bin Laden, the most sought-after terrorist in America. The mission's success marked the culmination of extensive, intricate, and highly sophisticated intelligence operations and analyses orchestrated by the CIA, with support from partners across the intelligence community. Authorized by President Barack Obama on April 29th, the operation was a precise surgical raid executed by a small team of special ops forces. The objective was to minimize collateral damage and pose minimal risk to non-combatants within the compound or Pakistani civilians in the vicinity. Following the mission, bin Laden's identity was firmly confirmed through various independent means. Well, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and comment on this video. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like what we're doing and want us to continue with more cool content. Until the next time.